Hi there, my name is Sonia Ortiz, and if you're watching, you can cook. Today, I have a guest, James Strange. Hi. And he has a YouTube channel, which I leave you here in the eye, a link to his channel. And today, I'm, I'm going to show him how to make chiles en nogada. Oh, it sounds delicious. Uh -huh. This is a typical dish from Mexico. It's uh, used to celebrate Independence Day, which by the way, it's not Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> it's actually September 16th. Uh, and it was uh, originally from the, the town of Puebla, uh -huh. in the state of Puebla too. And um, this is a simplified version, but it's, it's a very nice combination of uh, ingredients. I hope you like it. I hope so too, and I'm sure I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, let me tell you what we're going to need for ingredients. Okay. We need 500 grams of um, pork, which is a little bit less than a pound. Also, we need some olive oil and salt to taste, five Roma tomatoes, um, six poblano chili peppers, uh, we're going to fill them with the meat. Okay. And, and also we are going to need one onion, finely chopped, uh, one garlic clove, um, finely chopped, uh, and two canned um, peaches, peaches. Uh -huh, canned peaches. This is for the filling. Oh, and also half a cup of, of raisins, one cup of raisins, which is going to be with the filling. It's a little sweet. Okay. And then for the nogada, which is like a sauce we put on top, we're going to need one cup of cream, uh, one bar of um, cream, cheese. cream cheese, one cup of uh, these nuts, are, they're called what, walnuts? Walnuts. Walnuts, okay. Yes. And also to decorate, we're going to use some parsley and pomegranate. And that's all we need. That's all? It's yes, a <laughs> it's a Sounds lot good. of the, <laughs> <laughs> yes. We'll see how it goes. First of all, we roasted poblano chili peppers over the flame, um, flipping from time to time until it turned black on all sides. Put inside a plastic bag and let uh, cool for five minutes. Remove the burnt skin, submerging your hand in water as many times as necessary. Open with a knife in the middle and remove the seeds and the veins. Cook the pork in a pot with water and salt until the meat is tender. Remove from the broth, let cool and shred. Heat the oil in a pan and when it's hot, Fry the chopped garlic and onion for a couple of minutes. Add the chopped tomato, season with salt and pepper, and continue cooking until it changes color. Add the shredded beef, the peaches, and the raisins, and continue cooking to integrate the flavors for 10 more minutes. To prepare the sauce, blend uh, the cream cheese, the nuts, and the cream until you obtain a homogeneous mixture. To serve the chiles, fill with uh, the meat filling and pour some nogada on top and decorate with pomegranate and chopped parsley. So these are our famous chiles en nogada, and they're designed to, to have look like the Mexican flag, so that's why we have the green and red and white. Well, they are beautiful, mm -hmm. there's no doubt about that. Yes, well, we'll see how, how they turned out. Okay. okay. I hope it's not too spicy. Mmm. <laughs> delicious. The, the sauce is just amazing. It just melts. You can almost taste the nuts, but it's not, nothing's overpowering. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Actually, the, the real original recipe, they put a little sherry, dry sherry on the sauce. We're not using it here, but you can add it if you, it's optional. Okay. That would be very nice. But it's good anyway. Yes, <laughs> very good. So I invite you to visit James' channel. Here at the Eye, uh, I'll give you the link for his channel so you can see his recipes too. Thank you so much for being with us. Oh, thank you for inviting me into your kitchen. And you have to come uh, more often. Yes, I will. In Mexico, <laughs> we hug and kiss. <laughs> okay. See you next time. Ciao.